What's going on, everybody? My name's Keith Shannon. Welcome back to the show. I'll be your host for the next six and a half minutes. Today, we're putting carpet over ceramic tile, and we're going to show you how we do it. So here we go. We're spreading out the glue. We've got our smooth edge. Now, the reason here that I cut the smooth edge in small pieces is because the smooth edge is usually not straight, and it's bent, and it's curved. So I will cut it into pieces that are straight if that makes any sense. This stuff comes from overseas, it's warped, and it doesn't sit straight in the glue. You can see that the little nails there, it's a little blurry, but the nails are raised up. We're using LePage's PL Heavy Duty 9000. You can use PL, you know, construction adhesive. It's the best thing to do. I'm using the Heavy Duty today. So here we're just gonna cut more pieces. We've already laid the glue out. Now we're about a quarter inch away from the baseboard. There is no gap on this baseboard, which makes it for a tough install. It's nice when there is a gap, but uh, it is what it is. So we're cutting the pieces, spreading the glue, and we're just pushing the smooth edge down into the glue. And we are gonna leave this overnight for 24 hours to dry. I like to put stain nails in, in some places, in the grout lines. This kind of holds it in place so it, while it dries and uh, you know, before I used glue and people didn't want glue on their ceramics, I would just stain nail into the grout lines because that does not damage the tile. So if anybody's looking at not damaging ceramic tile, you can install full pieces of smooth edge into the grout lines with a concrete nail. You heard it here first. I've done it. So. But with this install, we're going right around the whole perimeter with the metals, with the smooth edge, with the glue. Um, you know, we're using lots of glue. I had a little bit of trouble with this, so I just started dabbing it. Sometimes, you know, that stuff doesn't want to come out. But this is a metal that we had to put in front of like a sliding or a push, like a chef's door that swings both ways. So we had to keep it a little offset. Here we've got our carpet in. I think this is a 60 ounce carpet. This is the next day. So the smooth is dry, we brought the carpet in, and now we're gonna put the carpet down before we put the under pad. Reason being is the under pad, we don't glue the under pad to the ceramic, and we don't want it to slide all over the place while we're doing this heavy lifting. You can see by what we're doing, we're rolling it out sideways, we're gonna get it into position, fold the corners, and then we are going to turn it clockwise so we can unroll this. And the reason why we do this, it's something like 30 foot long piece, is I don't wanna rip the walls apart by trying to roll it out lengthwise because the room is under 12 feet wide i believe so here we go we're just going to fold it out fold all our corners and then it's like an accordion we're just going to pull it out from end to end and kind of you know position it and line it up hey if you're enjoying uh what you see so far leave a comment down below tell me what you love about this tell me what you hate about this if you like it subscribe if you hate it don't subscribe um, I'd love to see what you guys are thinking about uh, this kind of uh, installation. So here we go. When we set stuff up, we want to cut all the excess off and get this down, you know, to a manageable, workable state. So that's what I'm doing now. Round the fireplace, you know, just hacking through it. And then we'll fold it side to side to do the underpad. Here we go, everything's cut down, ready for underpad. So now we do this like we do in an industrial glue down. We fold six feet back. And then now that exposes the area and then we roll our pad out. This way the pad doesn't slide all over the floor when we go to put the carpet down and then we don't damage the tiles from, uh, from the outer perimeter in. And we don't glue the pad. That is a no-no. Do not glue the pad. Ever. To ceramics, to concrete. So there we go. We're going to flip that back. Now that pad's in place. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Now we've rolled our pad out. Now we're going to tuck tape it down the center to keep that in position. A lot of people are worried about uh, asking me uh, questions about this uh, tape if it makes crinkle noises. I've been using it for a while. Lots of years, four or five years, six years, seven years. I never have had one complaint yet. Now that's not to say that it might not happen, but uh, that tape's been pretty good to me. 
So here we are, we're gonna get down to fine tuning the cuts, the pads down, and now we're gonna start stretching in our carpet. So uh, I thought I would start with the fireplace, give it a stretch, give it a tuck, give it a hook. Always use a good blade, especially when you're cutting around brick like this, because I am gonna cut that brick with the uh, with the blade, and it will dull a blade. So I will every cut that I make, when I stop using the knife, usually I will change the blade. I will flip it over. So you know, I cut on a forty-five. I've done this a few thousand times, so pretty easy for me. You can see the angle of the knife that I use. I get it right in there with a long, brand new blade. That's why it makes those cuts nice and clean. Like you guys might see me, I've edited this so that uh, you know I've cut out changing the blade six times, but I will change my blade all the time to get that nice, clean cut. That is the secret. Look at the fireplace; it looks amazing. So here we go, we're just gonna tuck down into that no under, there's no groove under that baseboard. So it's tight, it's tough, it wants to push back on us, but we will uh, lock it into place by scoring the pins with our tucker like that. Locking it down into place. Let's clean this mess up. We've got the other side to do, we're gonna vacuum it up. We're gonna move the furniture over. Now if you guys enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, give us uh, you know a subscribe, uh, it helps the channel, um, and it lets me know what you guys think. Here's the finished product. We still got to do the other side, but here's the initial side that you guys saw us do. Uh, installed, carpet installed over ceramic tile, right? We're just going to move this furniture over. We're going to pop in that other side and we are done. Look at that. Voila. Leave the comments down below. Leave a comment. I'd love to uh, hear what you guys think. Uh, I answer all comments good or bad. If they're really bad, I'll just delete them. 